All right, what is going on guys? Back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be changing the oil on the Camaro for the very first time. Now, do I know what I'm doing? Not at all. Never changed oil on a vehicle at all. I work on my own cars, I do this, I do that, but I've never changed oil on my vehicle at all, ever. Not even my motorcycle. I need to do an oil change on my motorcycle too. But literally all my vehicles are due for, your, for an oil change. The motorcycle's due for an oil change, the Camaro's due for an oil change. The Mustang is due long overdue for an oil change. And yeah, I this will be the very first oil change of the Camaro since I've owned it. I'm not sure what interval the old owner had it at for like how often they did oil changes, but I think I drove this car around 4,000 miles, roughly 4,000 miles, give or take. Uh, yeah, give or take 4,000 miles since february which is nothing at all since i first picked this car up i've only driven it four thousand miles <laughs> for people do that in a month and i did that in what five months maybe if i'm doing my math right five six months roughly and i've only did four thousand miles in this car and this is it's crazy because i feel like i drive this car every day i mean i'd be driving a camaro that's in the background but i feel like i drive this car every day and for me to only have four thousand miles on it it's crazy no, I'm not changing it because it's at 4,000 miles. Um, I'm changing it because the um, oil life thing said it's a uh, 27% or so. and But for some reason, it keeps resetting to 100%. And so I've just been tracking it. Like I've been seeing where it's resetting at and then just been tracking it ever since then. Because for some reason, it got down to like 70% or 80% one time, reset to 100, then it went down to like 50%, then it reset to 100. So I've just been tracking it and making sure that it, since it reset, I want to, you know, keep it on that same interval of it being where it was initially when I first saw it. Just in case, I don't want to blow this engine up. <laughs> That's the main reason why I've been tracking it. So it's really at like 70, it, yeah, it's really at 73% right now. So I've been tracking it and making sure and monitoring it, monitoring it. So it's around 27% realistically but it said the car says 73 percent or so so i'm going to change it have that peace of mind and knowing that i just did a fresh oil change on this car but yeah but before we get into the video the merch i'm not wearing a merch shirt never mind never mind never mind but if you guys want your merch new designs are out now the h pattern six speed and the h pattern five speed and the uh h pattern mask are officially out right now my exposure is changing please get back up because i'm dark as hell but the new merch logos are out if you guys want it link is down below and on the screen tulip creative designs hit them up get your merch now i have a lot of orders to go still. Thank you guys so much for ordering these shirts. I've been sending them out all week long. It's hard to keep up though, because I'm still in school. I'm still in school. You guys may be having fun on summer vacation, but I'm still in school. Just saying. But yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys with a cold start real quick, because I gotta let the car warm up, let the oil circulate, you know, let it get warm so it's more fluid when it comes out. And then yeah, we're gonna get into the video. So yeah, for this oil change, we're going to be using the Mobile One 5W30. Uh, I think it's good for around 10,000 miles or so. Then I got the 10,000 mile oil filter. I'm probably not going to keep the oil in this car for that long, guys. I feel like 10,000 miles is way too long to keep oil in the vehicle. Even though, even though it says it's rated for it, I still don't trust it. Because I changed the Mustang's oil like maybe every 3,000 miles or so just to be safe. And that's why the engine is running perfectly fine for how many miles it has on it. Uh, had to buy a few a few other things. Got the car jack from outside the uh, tire compartment. But other than that, we got everything we need to do this oil change. I barely even need to raise the car because the oil filter is inside the engine bay, which is so weird. It sits on top of the engine bay. So yeah, the oil filter is literally this canister right here, which is so weird. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Usually the oil filter is like somewhere like back there or on the other side, hanging upside down or something, or it's hanging sideways, but it's right here, literally. And so that makes this oil change so much easier because the drain bolt is literally on that passenger side uh right about in this area right here so it's really easy to access like everything on this car is really easy to work on surprisingly so i can easily just do an oil change with like in a few minutes and be done with it uh also the oil 
I'm not gonna pull it out right now because the car is on, but the oil, uh, it's not bad. It's not black or anything. It still looks pretty good, but I want to change it just to have the peace of mind and everything like that. But, um, so we're doing a mobile one oil, uh, full synthetic. Uh, waiting for the car to get the temperature right now. It's at 130 cooling temp. I'm gonna let it get a little bit more warm. Well, yeah, I'm gonna let it warm up. Wait five minutes, let all the oil drain back down before I open the thing up. Um, hopefully, I don't burn myself. But yeah, do a mobile one synthetic full blend. Should last for about 10,000 miles. I'm probably not gonna let it wait that long because how I'm very, I'm very meticulous about my things. I like, I want it to last very long. So I usually do oil changes a lot more frequently than I really need to. And it seemed to work out perfectly fine for me because I barely have any engine problems with the, or I never had engine problems with the Mustang, never had engine problems with the motorcycle. And coming up on the Camaro, I want to keep it as good as possible for as long as possible because this car is pretty much still practically brand new. So I want to keep it running for as long as possible without having to do any any engine swaps or anything like that. Uh, still waiting for the car to warm up. It's at 140 right now, so I'm probably going to turn it off and let it uh, sit for like five or so minutes so I don't burn myself. Or not so I don't burn myself, but so the oil can all settle back down to the bottom. Uh, the car takes like about six quarts, six full quarts of uh, oil. So I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna put the five quart in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the five quart in there, put half of the six quart, or half of the sixth quart in there, check it, see how much it is in there and if it's still below or above then I'll stop or I'll put more in there depending on where it is because it takes six quarts completely empty usually you don't get all the oil out so we'll see so I'm gonna jack up the car right now um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the camera but I'm gonna jack up the car right now get it going and get the tools out my other car because my tools are sitting in my Mustang over there I got the car jacked up just a little bit I don't need it too high because you can easily access the bolt but I uh, got a car jacked up I'm about to get the 15 millimeter socket and then drain the oil so let's do it Okay, quick update. I can't get this freaking drain boat off. Whoever changed this oil last, ugga dugga the hell on this boat. Like, they impacted that boat down so dang hard. That is ridiculous. They're, it's not even supposed to be that tight. It's supposed to be like hand tight. Like, it's ridiculous how tight this boat is, and I can't get it off. It's ridiculous how tight this boat is, and I can't get it off. I've literally been trying for like the last 15, 20 minutes trying to get this dang boat off. And I can't get it off. <laughs> it's, well, one, I can't get the right angle where it's okay for me to, like, just... Meep. And two, this bolt is on there really freaking tight. Like, I literally got it at a good angle, and I put almost all my force I can while laying down on the ground, and this bolt is not coming off. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I don't understand who tightened this bolt down so much. The bolt is not even supposed to be that freaking tight. It is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna try a few more times and after that I'm gonna give up because I don't wanna strip the bolt inside of the engine because that would be bad. Or inside the oil pan because that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. I would have a bigger problem on my hand. <laughs> We're back a few days later. Literally almost a week later. Well, not really almost a week later, but we're back. Um, this jack is very sketchy, so I put a wheel under it. I didn't end up going by a jack because this one will do plenty fine and I'm not gonna be under the car that long. Um, 
it took me forever to knock out the drain bolt because out for some reason it was just really tight and I could not get it for some reason. I have no idea why, but I was finally able to get it. Um, I just jacked the car up a little bit higher, went under there, sucked it up, just went under the car and uh, jacked it up and uh, pulled the bolt off. So the oil filter right there, I'm gonna open this up so the oil can flow out a little bit faster. Oh, car is hot. Um, that's just a 24 millimeter, really easy to get off. I got it off before. I just had to put it back together because I could not get the drain bolt undone. But I got the drain bolt undone. I'm about to loosen it. Let the oil drain out. next hiccup we can't i can't get this back off i had got it off a few days ago and the bolt at the bottom was the issue now i can't get this one off this thing is on there tight i have no idea why and i didn't even tighten it up that hard just got back from harvard parade i had to buy a freaking breaker bar to get the um the uh what's it called the oil filter housing off because i can't get it off with my regular uh, wrench so i had to go buy one so yeah i'm gonna knock this out real quick I just slugged my GoPro. <laughs> okay, got the oil filter housing on. Just gotta tighten it up real quick and then we'll be good. Going to replace the drain plug real quick. Oh dang, I gotta get up there and the crown is soaked with oil. Okay, one second. Now it's time to put the oil inside the car. So, remember, like I said earlier, Mobile One Sunny, protects engines with over 75,000 miles. Have nowhere near that, so. This was, it was recommended to me for my car because I wasn't sure what type of engine oil to put in my car. So I decided to like have, have someone help me like, you know, point me in the right direction on what oil I should use. And it was that. All right, so I'm gonna get the oil in the car real quick and I'm gonna catch, you, catch up with you guys in a second. buttoned up gonna prime the system real quick to let the oil flow through so it doesn't have that hard start up <sighs> make sure there's nothing leaking at the bottom nope none's leaking all right i think we're good if any if anyone wants to know how to prime the car you just put down on the clutch foot down on the brake or foot down on the gas and just let it two more times or three more times all right all right and you don't have the hard startup all right so i'm going to let it run for a second i'm going to lower it down as well start circulating through the car and then check the oil level one more time just in case I need to add more oil or take some oil out.